Early childhood wheezing is common, but only minority of preschool wheezers develop asthma. If we can accurately predict who will develop asthma among the wheezy preschool children, we can improve their management and identify children for subsequent preventive strategies. The natural history of asthma is one of remission and relapse, particularly during adolescence. Therefore, we aimed to predict asthma in early adulthood and persistent asthma up to that age, which causes most morbidity. We used the olive-white birth cohort for primary analysis and two independent British birth cohorts for application. We developed four models, um, Aspire 1 for asthma at age 18 years, which we can predict with two risk factors, recurrent wheeze at four years and positive skin pick test at four years. These two risk factors were common for all models, although there were additional factors for other um, asthma outcomes at age 8, 26 years and persistent asthma up to these ages, we found that the, these two risk factors predicted uh, all asthma outcomes with accuracy. The replication in other uh, cohorts was excellent. Based on the odds ratios identified in our four models, we developed risk scores and using these risk scores, each child can be assigned to a low, moderate, or high risk based on the risk factors present in these children and therefore can accurately identify the risk for later asthma in preschool children. We tested the accuracy of these models and showed that the sensitivity is modest, but the specificity is very high and overall accuracy of this model using area under the curve was fairly accurate. In summary, therefore, using two factor ASPIRE model can predict asthma up to the age of 26 years in wheezy preschool children. Thank you.